So I'm going to give examples of multiple cash flows. In example one, it's about the future value calculation. So let's suppose you plan to uh, deposit $100 into a bank account in year one, and then you deposit $300 into the same account in three years. The question is, how much will be in the bank account in five years? If we assume the interest rate is 8%. Let's draw this timeline as we can show the cash flows. At the end of the first year, $100. At the end of the third year, $300. We want to know the future value at the end of the fifth year. We use the formula future value equals present value times 1 plus interest rate to the power of t. So we can calculate both the future value for each cash flow. When we add up them together, the total future value equals $485.97. In the second example of the multiple cash flow, we're going to show you how to calculate the present value. So uh, suppose you are offered an investment that will pay you $200 in one year and then $400 the next year and $600 the year after and $800 at the year end of the following year. Okay, four cash flows in the future. And we assume that you can earn 12% on similar investment. This tells us the R, the discount rate we are going to use is 12%. The question is how much this investment worth today? So we are calculating the present value. Again, let's draw the timeline. So we know at the end of the first year, 200, and then 400, 600. At the end of the first year, 800. So to calculate present value, we need to know the discounting factor. So that's 1 over 1 plus r to the power of t, uh, t representing the uh, number of the intervals, time intervals. So therefore, we know the discount factor for at the uh, four time point for each uh, single cash flow. So now we know the r equals 12%. So now the present value is the sum of the discounted future cash flow, 200 divided by 1.12 plus 400 divided by 1.12 to the power of 2, and the 600 divided by 1.12 to the power of 3, and plus 800 divided by 1.12 to the power of 4. So we can calculate the present value of each single cash flow, and then we add them up, we get the total present total is fourteen hundred thirty-two dollars ninety-three cents. Thank you for watching.